Well, I had the itch to go out and take some pictures with a, you know, extreme wide angle lenses this morning and I was digging around and looking at some of the stuff in my cabinet and I ran across a, a lens that I bought when I first got started with Micro Four Thirds and this is a, a little inexpensive fisheye lens. It's an eight millimeter fisheye. Uh, the brand on it is Photosy and, and you've probably seen that name or heard that name. I've, I've talked about using their uh, lens adapters. Um, so, you know, I think when I first got started with Micro Four Thirds, I saw this on Amazon and it was like $69, something like that. And it's, or 59 or something, it was pretty cheap. And so I bought it thinking, you know, it's eight millimeter, it'll be nice and wide, it'll be fun to play with, and it wasn't expensive. I didn't really expect much from it. And, and actually it, it turned out some images that kind of surprised me. They were a little better than I thought they might be. It is a fisheye, however. Now it's a full frame fisheye, so you don't get that circular image in the middle of your picture. You get the full frame and uh, has a built-in lens hood, kind of cool. Comes with a lens cap that kind of fits. <laughs> it's not great. Um, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's micro four thirds mount. Now I think this is a C mount lens that they have put a, a C mount to micro four thirds adapter on. Um, I can't seem to get the adapter to unscrew, so they may have put some thread sealing on it or something, but uh, I get the sense that that's probably what it is. Now it actually says four thirds on here and um, eight millimeter and F3.8 maximum aperture, but it was really inexpensive. I looked on Amazon today and they still have this lens. It's not the Photosy brand. It's uh, kind of a no name lens, but it's the same lens. And even when I bought this, you could get this lens with a number of different um, manufacturers names on it. So people are obviously were just putting their name on the lens and selling it. Um, but you know, it's <clears throat> it very inexpensive and I didn't have real high expectations for it. It actually, I think exceeded my expectations in terms of what it could do. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to take it out this morning alongside the um, SLR Magic 8mm F4 that I use. Now I've done some videos on this. It's a lens I think uh, pretty highly of, especially for the price. Um, they're a little more expensive on Amazon now than when I bought it. When I bought this lens, you could get it for $150, $159. Now they're $189 on Amazon. Uh, the difference, of course, is that this is a rectilinear lens where this is a fisheye. Now what that means, you know, if you're not real familiar with wide angle lenses, a rectilinear lens will tend to keep lines at the edges straight where a fisheye will curve. Like if you have two buildings, the fisheye will curve those. Um, and so it's, it's kind of an, you know, it's an interesting effect, but if you're trying to shoot architecture or something, except in the fisheye has its place and, and it's really fun to use for some things, but if you're trying to keep buildings straight and things like that, the rectilinear lens is what you want. And that's, that's kind of what I was looking for. So when I bought this, um, you know, I, I saw some kind of mixed reviews on it, so I wasn't sure, but it was, again, it was fairly inexpensive and um, it has exceeded my expectations considerably. I think it's a pretty decent lens. Um, it's not, you know, if I was shooting architecture professionally, maybe, you know, interiors or whatever, you know, for people selling homes or businesses or whatever, I wouldn't probably use this lens. I would probably spend the six to six to eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars or whatever you'd need to buy a really professional level um, eight millimeter lens or seven and a half millimeter lens. I know that Leoa makes a, um, I think it's an eight millimeter, um, that's about five or $600. That's got an, a great reputation. And of course, Olympus makes a number of lenses that are all great, but, um, you know, I'm, this is a hobby for me. I don't, you know, actually the problem is I have too many hobbies and, you know, so if I'm going to dedicate money to, um, doing something, you know, I, I try to be kind of frugal about it. So anyway, I'm going to take these two lenses out on two of my pen bodies this morning. Riley and I are going to walk around downtown here. I'm shooting from the car this morning because it's really windy, um, really windy outside. So I thought it'd be better to, um, you know, do this where, um, talk where we could actually be heard and not have a lot of wind noise. So we're going to go around take some pictures and I'm going to try to take a picture with each lens um, you know, the same subject. So you can kind of see the differences and then we'll take a look at those and see what you think.
Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing those images. I had a lot of fun taking them. I was using the SLR Magic on my EP5 and the um, Photo C 8mm Fisheye on the um, EP1. And I don't know, it was kind of interesting. I'd never shot those two lenses side by side or compared them. And what I was really struck by, and you probably noticed it in the images, is the, the fisheye is quite a bit wider in in angle of view than the eight millimeter um, rectilinear lens, which is kind of interesting. I um, I was a little surprised. I figured they'd be a little closer, both being eight millimeter. I didn't think there'd be that much difference, but clearly this is a lot wider field of view. So anyway, I, I thought that was pretty interesting. I, um, I kind of enjoyed doing that. I mean, the pictures really aren't anything extraordinary, just something that you could use to see the kind of differences between the two. And they both, uh, one of the last pictures I took there, I got like the front of the lens, like two inches from that tree that you saw in the picture. So both those lenses will focus extremely close. And uh, both of them also have extraordinary depth of field, which is one of the fun things about a wide angle lens. I really, on both those lenses, I set them between, um, well, on, on the um, SLR Magic, there's it's in meters. And so I set it between one meter and infinity, kind of halfway in between. And when I checked focus peaking, basically everything from closer than a meter to infinity, everything was in focus. So I just use it as, I don't even focus it. I just set it at that level and then do it. With, with the um, fisheye lens, I'm not sure what the scale is. The closest thing to infinity says 10. I don't know if that's feet or it might be might be meters I really don't know uh, but again I set it between 10 and infinity and kind of left it there all those pictures were shot at f56 kind of just a middle uh, aperture for both these lenses and um, I don't know it was uh, it was kind of interesting I'm going to put links in the description down below so you can see those uh, two lenses online if you want to look at one uh, or think about purchasing one and um, I don't know I think it was kind of fun to, to do that comparison well, if you have any thoughts or questions, I would uh, love it if you'd leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you. Hey, and as always, thanks for watching.